so glad. Well, first of all, congratulations on your app. So the much. Best. We literally just we just hit five thousand um, not that long ago. So five thousand people have it, which I'm absolutely blown away with. So thank you. Well, it's, I have to say, I'm, I've been raving about it now. I Before I was interviewing you, I thought, I'm going to download this just to see, because I do sing. Um, and I thought, I'm going to download it and I'm going to see it. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. One of the best. Thank you. The oh, best thank idea. you so much. And, and that I, really means a lot. No, honestly, I've tried so many. And do you know, and it sounds really bad, some of them have got the most irritating voices and I can't listen. And I'm really on, I just, I can't listen. And I think, oh, no. And to know that way you think, well, persevere, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Ah! I can't see it as an irritating voice. I can't, I can't listen to it. So you've not yours got bored of me yet then? Easy listening. Yours is really good to listen to. Oh, it's so positive. Hard. You can feel the positivity in yours. So that's, and that's one of the things I really like about it is it gets me positive and, and I've got my daughter working on it and I, thought, I just love it. So I've been telling oh. everybody about it. Thank you so much. Oh, Laura, you've made my day. That's awesome. Thank you. Well, that, I'll, that I'll do your marketing going. up in Scotland. <laughs> Done. Done, babe. Started. <laughs> so what I'm going to, the first question that I was going to say to you, my first question, again, thank you very much for, for doing the um, the interview with Silence as the enemy. Um, for anyone that doesn't know you, it's Annabelle Williams, and you are the head coach, am I correct in saying that? On the X Factor. Yeah. The Voice, um, and what's the new show you were doing? So I'll just I'll just give you the rundown. It's not The Voice because I don't want to I don't want to pee off the other lovely vocal coaches on The Voice. Yes. I don't work on The Voice. But I work on I'm a head vocal coach on the X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, the new BBC show I Can See Your Voice, and also the brand new ITV show Walk the Line. I can see your voice. That's the one. That's what I was thinking of there. That's why yeah. I said The Voice. Apologies, that was my error. No, no, that's um, okay. They all they all roll into one sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> on on um, obviously when you're doing these shows, the, these are um, you're bringing people in and you're um, you're doing all their exercises with them. And and I've read it a few times that people have said you've actually helped people find a voice that they didn't know they have. Um, and that's uh, that's huge. That's uh, that must be well. That's life changing for people when you do that. But that's what it's all about for me. I mean, honestly, like, there's no bigger compliment. Um, I think people struggle with confidence issues, and, and that's why I'm a fan of what you guys do, because, yeah. you know, especially what everyone's gone through in the last two years, yeah. whether you're a singer or not, if you love to sing, everyone's confidence has been knocked. And I think we can, you know, you and I are on the same page that, thank goodness, we had singing through lockdown, because it's really helped so many of us. But also, um, it's really knocked a lot of people's confidence, and I and I just want everyone to know that that's okay. And and also, it's happened to everybody. You are not alone. Everybody's confidence has been knocked, and everybody is learning how to get back on the horse. And that it's okay to be afraid, and that it's okay to think, oh, I was, you know, I was really, I was okay before, and now I just, I don't have the confidence to do it. You yeah. absolutely have the strength you need to do it. And I think exactly, well, yeah. it's really, really important that um, for, for people who are in the position that I'm in, I'm incredibly lucky to be able to be helping people no matter what their age, doesn't matter when, what age you start as well. That's super important. Doesn't matter what age you start. But sometimes I can see some things in people that they don't see in themselves. And that's what I feel so lucky to do. And to help bring that out yeah. is an absolute joy and the most rewarding thing in the world. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's that's what part of the job as a vocal coach is to kind of help people realise their true potential. And to and it's a really exciting part of the journey, you know, mm -hmm. and there's highs and lows for sure, and that you hit obstacles and they try stuff and it doesn't work, but then eventually you get there. And it's the it's the best feeling in the world for myself and the singer, you know. Yeah. So I feel oh, very no to be able to do it. Yeah. So what prompted you to develop the app, the Vocal Coach app? Well, to be honest with you, I've over the years of working in television developed my own kind of methodology, if you like, my own kind of teaching style, my own set of exercises mm -hmm. that I've. That, that work you know that I had to kind of develop on the go on the job if you like because working in live television you quite often have to find 
you have to find something that will get you the result. It's sort of, I was having my head, whatever it takes to get the result, you know? So, yes. you know, and you're faced with various challenges on a day-to-day basis. It could be nerves, it could be voice loss, it could be, you know, um, forget, memory loss, whatever it is. Like there's lots of different um, challenges that you have as a vocal coach. So I had to find a way to try and help these contestants on these TV shows and various artists that I was working with. And before I knew it, I sort of had a set of exercises. I thought, these are really, really, these are really working, you know? Yeah. And I wanted to also, with that, I thought, whenever I look for exercises online as a singer myself, I find them really uninspiring and boring. And I wanted to make um, a set of exercises that would not be boring and that would be inspiring and what I mean by that is um you know I found a lot of exercises that were good that were in, essentially the essence of them were, were correct but it might just be on a piano and I thought how fun would it be to make exercises that were like a Bruno Mars album or a Justin Timberlake album you know yeah. Yeah. with like sing with what with backing vocals on and, and trumpets and saxophones and things so that's what I set about doing with my me and my producer friend Nate Williams and um, we we came up with, I had the exercises in my head. He came up with these extraordinary backing tracks for me and I would give him briefs. So, you know, I'd say, you know, make it sound like this Michael Jackson song, but obviously don't copy it because then I'll get um, sued. <laughs> yeah, without, me, without, me getting, without me getting sued by the Jackson family, how can we come up with this that it's something, you know? Yeah. And uh, it's just and fun and inspiring. And um, and so that that's what happened. And so I before I knew it, I had a, a big, complete set of exercises that were everything that I had been working on uh, and then I decided to put them in an app I thought how brilliant would it be um so that's what I did in lockdown I'm so glad you did I'm really glad you Thank did you. Because I'm so glad I did. It, it's like you said it's it keeps you um it is inspiring and it, it's 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 fun it's a fun app and you don't want it to stop so you come out of one exercise you go Right, what one can I do now? And it's like, I've been picking this for me. I, I get amazing. excited. That's like, oh, I love these. That's so amazing that you say that because for me, you know, when I was growing up and learning exercises and vocal coaching was pretty boring, if I'm yeah. not going to lie. And I wanted mm. to make it so that learning, you know, singing ultimately is fun and enjoyable and joyous and I love it and I want the training to be the same. So yeah. I set about making these exercises so that people will be like, yeah, I'm really learning. I'm really, I can feel myself getting better. I want to learn. I can't wait to do my practice again tomorrow. That sort of feeling. And that's the yeah. feedback I'm getting, which is amazing. It is, and the one where you've got to do the ooh and hold it. I've challenged myself to keep it, to, to hold it as long as they do on the app. And it's a child, a child. I'm nearly there. I am nearly oh, there. Oh, fantastic. I'm that but it's one so of those ones where you challenge yourself. It challenges you as well, because years ago, um, I used to sing in the pubs in the 90s. So wow. I used to go to a vocal coach. And, and I'm going to be careful how I say this. She used to put a cork, cork in your mouth a wine bottle cork I need to watch because I've said this before and with my accent it's came across wrong it's a cork from a wine bottle with a piece of string through it you had to put uh -huh. that over your head and you had to hold the cork in your mouth to do your vocal right. um, training amazing I love it I love hearing of the different ways that you know teachers have of getting results it's hysterical it's absolutely brilliant I have people lying on the floor I have people leaning against walls I have people with books on their heads whatever it takes so I love your teacher for doing that it's brilliant I used to lie on but the floor as well with the cork cork in my mouth cork lying, cork, with cork. With cork. Yes. With a line in my mouth well in my mouth lying on the floor to do these vocal exercises <laughs> brilliant brilliant <laughs> that's, that's the good. thing with, with well, that's the thing with the app. You know what? Again, I, I've tried to make it as easy and non-scary as possible. Every exercise is labelled easy, medium and hard. So if you're just starting out, just work your way through the easy exercises, the ones that are labelled easy. And every single exercise has a little tutorial video of me explaining yes. how to do the exercise. So if you were having a private one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, I would be explaining how to do the exercise and I put it all into the app for you. So it's really yes. accessible so that you get the most out of the exercise and you can really feel yourself learning. And I've been really careful to explain how you do each exercise in a really simple, accessible way so it doesn't confuse people. It is, and it's, it's very easy to, to do it. it is, uh, I had my daughter doing it the other day, and even she said, this is really good, because she's doing right. drama at school, and she's going to, she's very, 
um, nervous about singing because she doesn't think she's good and she's got a great voice. So this, I said to her, you need this on your phone. Just get Aww. mum transferred the money over um, for her. And it was like, mum. I thought, oh, okay. Um, so <laughs> she put it on her phone and she's now working with that as well. And that's that. I'm hoping that brings her confidence back. So for that, yeah. I've said to her, um, you need. You, I tried it. She tried it with me when I was doing the app and she said I really like this so that's she's she's got it as well so for that it is very simple to use and it's not scary yes. at all it's actually it's a pleasure to use it I love it um, yeah exactly oh brilliant so the next question what advice would you give to your younger self if you could go back now knowing what you know now oh it's such a good question um it would probably be Never compare yourself to anybody else. That's a good answer. I think it's something that we all unfortunately struggle with when we're younger. And then when we get older, we realise the gift of being older is, oh, the things I used to worry about when I was younger. Exactly. And, you know, I used to worry about my weight. I used to think that I couldn't be a singer because I wasn't skinny enough. I wasn't funny enough I didn't look a certain way I didn't sound a certain way um and then you get to an age and you just realize that that's absolute rubbish and that the best thing about me is that I'm totally unique and nobody else is like me and the best thing about you is that nobody else is. and that's the case for absolutely everybody um is that you know we're all we're all unique and that's what our strength yeah. is actually not the fact yeah. that we don't fit in and if you don't fit in it's a great thing I love because it. it makes you unique it makes you unique it makes you different from everybody else and being the same as everybody else is boring exactly and so I wish I'd known that when I was younger but I would definitely encourage the younger ones who are feeling that I promise you you being different is a great thing. Uh -huh. I tell my kids that all the time. See, if you want to do something weird and you're going to be weird, be confident about it. It's just, that's yeah. the way you Make should Make no be. apologies. Make no nope. apologies for who you are. Nope. There's not another me for safety reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't have another me in this world. It's just not well, possible. Exactly. It would be absolute chaos as it would be with me as well. It would just be, it would be trouble. It would be trouble. Yes, they, but they had to break the mould for safety reasons. Health and safety come in when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> that was the wisest thing they ever did. Um, what sacrifices have you made for your career? What would you say, what sacrifices have you had to make in life? I mean, it's a funny one because right now, <laughs> so the app, has literally taken over my life I put so much effort into it I I've spent so much money on this app I made an app instead of buying myself a home so I've made the sacrifice of um not owning a home because I made an app instead in the hope that eventually I will make that money back I think it's you know what every time I feel like giving up with this app because it is such a lot of work I meet people like yourself and I get messages every single day from people telling me that this app has changed their life and the most amazing one ones more recently is that it's helped with their mental health I had a guy yes. in Australia I had a guy in Australia message me about a year ago and he said he had been having suicidal thoughts it was a really really heartbreaking but wonderful letter that he wrote me and he said he discovered my app and because my app is designed to help with that with anxiety reducing it has you know the power of breathing is so incredible yeah he said he does my anxiety reducing and breathing exercises every morning and it really really helps me it does them every day religiously now I mean what an incredible incredible story and I just I actually cried when I got that so I was like Anytime I feel like giving up on this yeah. app because it's, you know, it is so stressful and it is costing me so much money. I just think, no, you're not giving up. Absolutely not. Because so many people are getting so much out of it. Yeah. So, um, you know, we make sacrifices all the time, but I really think it's so important to take risks. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a risk taker because otherwise life is too short and too boring. Let's just, you know jump off the cliff and then worry about the rest later so exactly. um you know there's been many many sacrifices but um i wouldn't change a single 
second of what I've done. And that includes that includes making the mistakes. I think it's a really important message to put out there that, you know, you will make mistakes. That's how you learn. You will make mistakes. And I think as long as you, if you mess up, as long as you say sorry. Yeah. Somebody gave me a piece of advice years ago, a band leader said to me, hey, listen, if you're genuinely sorry for something, you made a mistake. He said, people make mistakes. If you're genuinely sorry, you know, no one can argue with that. Exactly. You know, you can, if you're defensive and lie and or, or lie and uh, you know argue to your blue in the face, even though deep down you maybe know that you're wrong, then you're not going to get anywhere. But if you just apologise genuinely and wholeheartedly for something, then there's not a lot of people can say to that. So I think being genuine, saying sorry, and learning from your mistakes is yeah. really super important. I've learned so much from making mistakes. I've made a lot of mistakes. I'm human, just like anybody else. But now I look back and I just think how much I've learned having done that. Mm -hmm. And it's made me a better person now, for sure. And then I can oh, go absolutely. on and help people. Well, I always say to my kids, there's no such thing as failure, only feedback. Because you'll oh, never learn if you don't make a mistake. That's, that's the way of life. That's part of learning. Part of learning is making the mistakes. You know, it's like when you're learning an instrument. If you're learning an instrument, if you're learning singing, guitar, piano, violin, saxophone, whatever it is. You're not going to get better unless you make the mistakes. If you were perfect, then you wouldn't be learning. So we're all learning. Exactly. We're all making mistakes. So it's all part of it. It's the only way you move forward because you know not to do it again. So if you haven't made yeah. the mistake in the first place, you're never going to learn anything. So That's mistakes right. are actually That's good right. things in life, I think. Um, and I always laugh. Agree. You, don't worry about it. If you've made a mistake, it's a good thing because you'll not do it again. So I always tell right. that. So it's, it's just... Uh, but when they That's keep right. I'm like right okay now you're now you're now you're you're pushing it a wee bit you've made that mistake about six times now so yeah <laughs> you need to start learning that. exactly <laughs> just laziness now That's yeah. just <laughs> um oh. when you come across a nervous or a shy singer um apart from obviously downloading your app would be the first piece of advice you'd give them and I would as well um <laughs> How would you help someone combat the fears? Well, I think being nervous and shy is, is down to a lack of confidence. And I think rather than work on the confidence issues, I would work on um, helping them improve their vocal, vocal technique, their vocal ability. Um, what I love about <clears throat> when people first come to me, if they're particularly shy or nervous, is I kind of park that issue and we don't address it head on necessarily. What I do is I work with them on their singing and then and then they start to kind of react to themselves improving. Mm -hmm. And they you, you start to see a change. And when you start to see that change over the weeks and the months, you know, you get to sort of six months in or a year in or two years or whatever it is, it doesn't matter how long it takes, time's gonna happen anyway. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how long it takes. And then suddenly you see them flourish and grow before they, they even realize it those nerves and the shyness are just a distant memory and it is the best best thing to to feel and to witness as a vocal coach I absolutely yeah. love it so um there isn't um I, I, in answer to your question to combat those fears is basically you know working your butt off at the one thing that you love more than anything and that I love more than anything which is singing um, getting better at it and it just it does so it does wonders for your confidence yeah. being confident enough to sing in front of an audience you know so I might say to the to the to the student what's your goals you know what's your biggest fear well my biggest fear is to sing in front of people you know my biggest fear is to talk in front of people that was always my biggest fear as a singer when I was growing up I thought I can sing in front of anyone but I can't talk in front of them that's the really scary bit um and the only way you get more comfortable at it is by doing it. It's the only way. Just you know, you can't teach experience. You have to just go out there and do it, and you get better and better at it. Exactly. And that's how your confidence grows. Exactly. That's how your confidence exactly. Grows. Um, the music industry, you know, it's a cutthroat world. It's not an easy industry to get into. Um, no matter how well you're you're trained. If someone um wanted to get into, say, like um studio work or anything like that it's something I've done a lot of of working on and looking into it and there's not a lot of you wouldn't you can't just go on the job site and find a job as a session singer no. um you can't go in and find a job as uh, going to do a recording studio or back in how would you direct someone if they wanted if, if obviously they're doing all this work and they have a goal at the end of it what what advice would you give someone 
Okay, so I get asked this a lot, and, and there's, there's two parts to this answer, because first of all, so many people come to me going, you know, what can I do? What can I do to like be a singer and get into the industry? And da, 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 da. Well, it's a very general question. You have to work out what it is you want to do. Do you want to be a backing singer? Do you want to be a recording artist? Do you want to be in the West End? Do you want to be an actress yeah. that sings? Do you want to travel the world and sing on cruise ships? You, know, you have to think about what you want to do because each one requires a different skill set. So, and then once you decide what you want to do, so it might be that you want to be a backing singer. Well, what's the number one thing you have to, the thing you have to be able to do as a backing singer is to harmonise. Yeah. You know, as a, as a recording artist, you don't necessarily have to harmonise. You have to be able to write amazing hits, amazing songs, and you have to be able to connect with your audience. So you have to really decide, because I do hear that a lot, you know, oh, how can you help my son or my daughter get into the music industry? Well, what do they want to do? Oh, I don't know, they just want to sing, which is also fair enough. You know, you might be a teenager and not, not actually know. Yeah. Yeah. That would be my first bit of advice is to kind of, okay, decide whereabouts in the music industry do I want to sit? The answer might be still, I don't know and I don't care. That's also okay. In which case, what I would do is make your training general and just get really, really uh, amazing at your craft. Learn your craft, learn how to harmonise, learn how to sing lead, learn how to tell a story through song, learn how to breathe, learn great technique, learn um, how to, you know, go to open mic nights and sing in front of people and that sort of thing to, get, to improve your confidence. But the other answer to the question is... <clears throat> There isn't, you know, you're right. There isn't a sort of an, an, a course that you do, yeah. And then, and then you automatically graduate and become a superstar. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. It's very, very, very much through word of mouth, absolutely. And it's down to you to create a, a reputation for yourself. Yeah. So what I would say is, you know, first of all, get out there. Once you're ready, you only get a first. You only get one chance at a first impression. But once you feel you know, you don't even have to feel confident or comfortable to just throw yourself in the deep end, go to an open mic night, start performing, start singing with a band, start singing with instrumentalists, start singing with backing tracks, you know, get, get together with a guitarist or a piano player, get, you know, go and offer to play music in pubs or restaurants or hotels. Um, just so you start to in, in, uh, get some repertoire together. So you increase your repertoire, your knowledge of songs, but you also, most importantly, are starting on the road of performing yeah. and getting used to performing, getting used to holding a mic, getting used to singing with an instrumentalist, getting used to using your ears and listening to the background music. Um, you know, it might be that you want to sing and dance. So, you know, getting into singing and dancing at the same time and building up your stamina, that sort of thing. So there are lots of different things that it could be. Um, <clears throat> And then once you've started going to things, you know, say you get your first gig, it might be with a function band, it might be for a wedding, it might be as a backing singer, it might be in the recording studio, you're already starting to meet people. If you're, this is the golden rule, these are the three golden rules that I always, always say, turn up on time, don't be rubbish, so, i.e. be really amazing yeah. and be really nice. So yeah. turn up on time, be, be the best at what you do and be super nice. If you are those three things, you can't go wrong. Now, when it comes to timekeeping, early is on time, on time is late and late is unacceptable. That's good so advice. Always, always turn up early, always. Early is on time, on time is late. So really important to remember those golden rules. If you do that, that is, because you might say, well, how do I start building a reputation for yourself? That's how. So adhere to those rules and you start to build a reputation for yourself. And, you know, it, it is so much about, I'm not going to lie, it is about a pop being popular and being liked and being, you know, for, you know, if you're on stage 5% of the time when you're, if you're with a band, you're on stage for such a tiny amount of the time, you know, you're touring together, you're sharing you're traveling together, you're sat next to each other on a plane, a bus, a train, a coach, a tour bus, a car, you know, so it's about being easygoing and yeah. likable and wanting to, people wanting to hang out with you, it's very much yeah. about that and and that's why, you know, some of the most successful people in the industry are the nicest people actually uh -huh. and I find that, I find that throughout my career, the more that I, um, the, the sort of more successful things that I've done, the people around me are incredibly nice. Whereas on my way up, I maybe found people that were more threatened and that weren't necessarily that nice. So yeah. it's generally like the higher up you get, the nicer people are, and that's yeah. not a coincidence. Yeah, big part of it's personality. It's not just the voice, it's the personality to match as well. It certainly yeah. is. It certainly yeah, exactly, is. exactly. So what's, um, what's your plans for next year? What's your big plans for next year? 
I've got two really exciting projects starting in the new year, which unfortunately I can't tell you anything about. That's but okay. you will, <laughs> if you follow me on my socials, I, I'm always um, giving little, you know, insights into what I'm up to on there. So on Instagram, I'm the vocal coach official um and the same on facebook but yeah it, there's lots of new exciting projects there will be britain's got talent for me which will be back on our screens next year which i'm really excited about the next very exciting thing though when's this going up by the way sorry just to interrupt probably in the next couple of days we'll have this yeah great great so on sunday the 12th so i don't know mm -hmm. if this will be out by then but sunday the 12th of december every night for a week will be walk the line which is the brand new singing game show that i'm head vocal coach on okay. and that's that's absolutely it's one of the best shows i've ever done it's absolutely brilliant every single contestant is a brilliant brilliant singer um or, or band or group or choir whatever they are you know they're, they're all they're everyone's singing the panel is fantastic it's craig david gary barlow alicia dixon and dawn french which is just the absolute icing on the cake you followed me the other day it made my life i can die happy now um and uh yeah so I think everyone's going to really enjoy it. And it's also something that people at home can join in with, which I always think is really, really key to these sort of things. You know, yeah. they can kind of join me in with and have an opinion on and guess who's going to win and guess who's going to walk the line and go through to the next show or guess if they're going to take the cash. It's really, really high energy, um, risk-taking, singing game show fun. Everyone's going to love it. So that starts Sunday the 12th and it's on every night for six days. So that'll be on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So definitely Brilliant. catch it. And on the Friday, on the last show, somebody or some or a group, a group or a solo will will win £500,000. Fantastic. Yeah, it's oh, I need to watch that. I'm looking forward to that. It's really good. Walk the line, ITV. I think it starts at eight o'clock. It's only on for an hour, an hour every night. Gosh, watch it with your tea. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> That's fab. That's good. Okay, well, I, I honestly, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking Thank to you. Thank you so, so much it. for having me. Thank you. And I'm now on your Facebook. I'm now stalking your Facebook to see Yay! what's coming up next. <laughs> so, I uh -huh, yes. And listen, I really, you know, for everyone listening, um, I really am I'm hoping to do it like a, once the pandemic is over, is to do a tour and come and do masterclasses around the, the country. And it's honestly, please don't ever worry about your level. It is open to all levels. It's up to me to adapt it to all different levels. So I really hope to meet some of you who are listening. And in the meantime, go ahead and buy the app and let me know what you think. Keep in touch on Instagram. Um, there's a free seven day trial so you can try it out and see what you think before you subscribe. And there's plenty of material on there that you'll love to sing along to. Something for everybody. And what's really important, just finally, just to point out with the app is that I've included some anxiety reducing breathing exercises on there um, i'm very much focused on mental health at the moment and the benefits of singing within mental health yeah. so listen if you're a singer and or if you're not a singer but you love to sing which come on there's loads there's, there's thousands of people like that out there who just love to sing i had a lovely uh, email from a nurse yesterday who does the app on the way to her work every day she's not a singer she just loves to do it and she just gets a lot out of it for her mental health yeah. with what she deals on a daily basis so it really is for everybody um you know there is no wrong answer you just give it a try that's the best thing to do and enjoy yourself that's the most important thing um it's called the vocal coach and it's available on ios and android so both platforms yeah and we'll be putting a link to it on the review as well wonderful. we'll add a wonderful. link to that onto the review and wonderful. i'll keep i'll keep marketing up here in scotland as thank well you so much. Thank <laughs> you i'll so keep much. pushing on my social media as oh, well thank you so much for being part of the vocal coach family you're in now babe love it absolutely love it um so hopefully if you're up in scotland if you come up to do your, your master classes i will yeah. be there 100%. i will be along I'll, oh, I'll make right. sure I've got some Vaseline and a brow on. And I'll, I'll make yes, we're back have, to a brow I won't have jammy bottoms on this time. <laughs> we'll all go out afterwards and celebrate. Woohoo! That would be great. I'll dress for the occasion. Amazing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Well, thank, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure, Lovely and good luck with everything that's that's thank coming you on. Thank you so much, Laura. You're an absolute star. Keep doing what you're doing. I love this um, this web. Uh, sorry, I love this website, and I think it's absolutely brilliant what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing and spreading well positivity do. through creativity. It's great. Thank you so much. You take care. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. You too, my gorgeous. Bye. Take care. Bye.